Hi guys, uh, today's video is going to be about uh, making a um, curved tube around a polygroup. So we're going to start off with just a uh, 128 Dynamesh ball. We're going to get a um, slice curve brush. We're just going to hold Control and Shift, slice through that anywhere, create ourselves a different polygroup. We're going to hold Control and Shift to tap, isolate the polygroup, make sure our curved tube brush is on. We're going to come up to stroke. We're going to go to curve functions and we're going to go to border and frame mesh. That frames our uh, polygroup. And um, depending on your brush radius, size is to the size of the tube you'll get. So just tap that. Don't ask me why it's done that. Uh, I know why, because we've got um, symmetry on. So we just tap that again without symmetry. We'll just get one tube, which is what we're after. Um, and if you're happy with that, you can basically come back up to stroke, go to curve functions, go to delete. That'll delete your curve tube where your curve was. And then um, what I like to do now is just hold control shift and isolate the um, tube on its own. Control W to give it a new polygroup, something like pink. I'm badly colorblind just so I can distinguish between the three. Unmask um, and there you go. So if you want to move that, you can use, say, Move Topological. That'll move the tube on its own. Or if you want, you can go to your Move Gizmo, hold Control, tap on the tube, and that'll isolate everything by masking it, and then uh, go back to Draw. And with your normal Move Brush, you can now just move the tube again. Um, so that's basically it. And uh, that's how you frame a polygroup, and then the else you want to frame, and get those nice-looking tubes, and... You can smooth them out, do whatever you want to them. Um, so I hope it was informative. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more ZBrush videos. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.